I want to create a cube basically 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters. I've got three types of species here. To get the board that I want, we need to cut 15 at each. Glue them up, that should give us a 25 millimeter cube. Once we've glued this sandwich up, um, and we'll have 15 of them. We've got to glue them together like this. One on its side, one upright. One on its side, one upright. And then once that's glued up, we can cut 25 millimeters. And then we can turn it on its side. And then once we glue that up, it should give us this pattern. But we're going to have one that's got 15. So it'll look far more detailed. I think it'll look really cool. I just went ahead and I've done a whole lot of planning because I'm going to make a whole lot of chopping boards. But I thought I want to make a cool one like this. So I thought I'd bring these along. We'll see the end result. So let's get to the table saw and start cutting these up now. sandwich these three pieces together we should be around about 25 millimeters So just turn every other one like that. And I'll do it. Good man, minimal cleanup needed. Right. to take this pass here to clean this bit up with a miter saw and then I'll take it to the table saw because How I want to glue it, I'll just show you with these two bits. So you want to glue it and stagger them like this. Like that. You got a wee staircase.
just get a whole lot of sand in today next. Right, I'm pretty happy with it set so far. There's still a wee bit of sanding, but I'm wanting to get it cut and squared up. Just put it aside and let it dry. So before I finish the sanding, I'm wanting to get my wee handles put in it. And then I need to decide how I'm going to finish the side. Let's round these there. Well, I've got all the chamfers now. Just gonna start rounding the mail. Right, gonna cut my wee handles in with the ball nose end ball. Alright, now I just need to finish the sanding on it. Right, let's get a clean down with acetone and then we'll get some mineral oil on it. There we go man, and I just put a super glue in that, if I had resin, I'd put resin in it, and I would have done that before I put any finish on it, you would do that when you were sanding it, put resin in it, and then sand it flush, and then put your finish on it, and then also, I changed the feet to wee brass feet. Right, so, we're basically done, a couple of wee more things today, I thinned the trim out by putting a thin piece on we should get this piece to move as the end grain moves naturally I made this up 10% beeswax 90% mineral oil and it works amazingly and then it's a super durable finish having the beeswax in it and we just want to sort of rub it on sparingly I say sparingly but then we just want to buff it with a clean bit now. Get it in its wee sleeve. And we'll just set it away to let it acclimatise for a wee while. Well, so it's been uh, about five days. Just under a week. Look at that, man. Lovely. So, last thing I've got to do is put a bit of finish on it. Just another wee light coat of finish. Buff it off. So there's the one I done last week, that one, and then I've done this one here, a bit longer, and then this one, I just finished this tonight. I like this one better, it definitely looks better without having a border. But it, it does look good with the border as well, but I just think without the border looks a lot better. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. He's got something for you.
I really, really enjoyed the process of making the chopping boards. Um, although it looks complex, really breaking down its basic steps, it's really quite simple, you know. But I really enjoyed it, and it came out spectacular. It came out, as always, but be better than what I first thought. The one I just finished, I liked that one better. But it's just with the contrasting colours, you know, because it's got a kind of red hue to it. Whereas this one's got a kind of more brown hue to it. I'd always thought a chopping board has been kind of boring in that. And majority of them are, you know. I definitely got some really cool ideas as to, you know, make some really intricate chopping boards. 3D chopping boards and that. Really, really cool looking ones. See, when I made my other ones, like last month, I hadn't really, like, looked at other people's work. It wasn't until I made that chopping board, then I joined some groups on Facebook and just saw me the chopping boards that other people make are oh, spectacular. I must say, very some some very creative lads out there, defo, but I, I definitely want to make one that looks like uh, 3D cubes. That one looks spectacular. A few ones, I'll no spoiler, I will make videos. I'll also make a video of uh, making that finish. Because finishes are quite expensive and, you know, I bought the raw ingredients for pretty cheap and that wee jar there cost like 50p. And that'll last, a it lasts a long time, you know. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that, man, and you've got something for you. I really enjoyed the process. It was a real challenge to think up creative ideas, to get some really, really cool designs and I've got, I've got, some ideas as to really intricate chopping boards, especially the 3D ones. The ones look amazing, so I'm definitely going to try to aim. Um, I man, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next project, guys. Take it easy, God bless. Don't forget, bold song. See you later, guys.